Perfect. So we'll start with just sharing a little bit about your background and how you got into trading. Good, good question. Um, I was interested in horse racing from oh, a young age. I'm early 60s, so I'm not quite as young as most of the guys on this stuff. So uh, Be surprised. I thought, Be surprised. Really? It's, uh, yeah, looking at most of the guys, it seems to be fairly young. But yeah, I was into horse racing and um, looking at probabilities and horse prices and value betting and things like this and try to make up some sort of system where I could evaluate horse racing and try and make some money on having an edge in that, which okay. failed miserably because um, there was so much to do. So that kind of moved on to finding out around um, markets in general, you know, what can you trade bet? Similar sort of things, you know. Um, then found into the financial markets and looked at spread investing in the financial markets and and trading uh, shares and things like that. Things in, in that market. Then looked at. Uh, then I had. Uh, I, I, I joined up with a couple of companies that kind of gave me. Um, they took my money and then invested it in uh, in, uh, in, in certain in ways. ways. They were terrible. They were terrible. Uh, a lot of them, I lived in Singapore for a while, and out there, I did a company called Trading Coffee. Trading Coffee. They traded, um, and uh, I basically and gave them my case. They were doing very well. well. It was a big martingale yeah. exercise, which eventually just failed um, and just lost all my money. And, and they were uh, with some friends as well. They were in the same thing. And it was kind of, how did that happen? So uh, at the same time, I got told about POW and said, if you really want to try and learn about trading and the markets, have a look at these guys. And that was the early days, I think, of POW, probably about three, three, yeah, three, four years ago. It was pre-COVID. So um, I looked at, at POW then and, and joined up because it's, it's what Darren says, it's kind of quite right. You know, you can, if you give people the answers, um, then they just copy the answers and they don't do the work themselves. If you yeah. understand how the, how the whole process works, then you can do it yourself. You can learn and have input from the whole community, which I like with power in terms of you've got different people, different ideas like yourself, like Jake, like all the other guys that develop uh, uh, set, set finders, finders and portfolio, portfolio analysis. analysis. Yeah. And then Darren and Connor doing lots of, of the work. It's a real yeah. big community where you feel like you can ask questions. And like yesterday's Q&A, it was great. Yeah. Uh, I know, right? They're, they're full of so much value, those uh, Q&As, like the weekly coaching calls. and like Absolutely. I think that's where, I mean, everything that I've ever learned has come from those, to be honest with you. And you, and you guys, there's a, there's a core group of people, I think yourself, um, and some of the early guys that joined in power who became administrators and part of it, who really carried it on to the next level. And I'm sure, and I think Darren and Connor are very aware of that as well, because... They speak very highly of everybody. Yeah. And, and I have seen it from the outside. I mean, I've joined in the days when people yeah, were taking the challenges on. Um, and they were using things like the Norwegian Corona uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. and trading some massive positions and passing passing um, <laughs> the prop firm challenges in about three yeah, days. I remember Purely by flicking a coin. Yeah. So before before you um before you joined Pal, what were the top three things that you say you struggled with? Uh, consistency, yeah. uh, executing the plan. Um, and it's easy to plan, but it's very difficult to execute. And, yeah. and I think what Darren's given is an opportunity and a way to execute the plan. Yeah, it's yeah. kind of plan the work and work the plan. Um, and it all appears dead easy when you look at it like Darren yesterday. Oh, we just click, 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 da, da, da. and you have to put the work in to yeah. get to that point as to what he's talking about and why you why you do things. I mean, I'm, I'm nowhere near down the line like you are. I, I'm just scratched the surface. I mean, Monday I passed my first challenge, which I've been trying for ages. I know, congratulations about that. We're going to speak about that today, actually. But um, before we jump into um, your success, going back to the whole um, consistency thing and yep. the other thing you said, you lacked like a, a plan. Is that what you said? Remind me yeah, I, you, you can you can plan so much and you can plan on an Excel spreadsheet and you can see yeah. numbers exploding off the chart. Yeah. Um, which that doesn't really, I don't think, it's a, it's an emotional 
journey that and, and Darren's put a lot of and you guys have put a lot of information in terms of how you get your mindset right on this because it looks easy oh well I just click the button here in January and in December I've got a, a 10x on my account yeah, yeah what it doesn't take account of is is the the emotional roller coaster ride in between that yeah um, and it's very easy to say oh look well I, I can make this money here and when you don't make that and you start to go into drawdown it's it's quite a, a difficult challenge then because then that's when you start to look for the Oh, what that so this obviously isn't working. Well, it is if you look at the data and how things have worked. I so, think the thing is, is like I think that's the hardest part of it all, to be honest. It's yeah. just like managing your emotions. No one can kind of prepare you for that. Like if we go back to uh when you said when you first started trading and you kind of lost money, like no one prepares for you, no one prepares no. how painful that actually is. Like when I first started trading, I, I thought, you know, I, m I made like money on my first day and I thought it was going to be easy. And, uh, you know, a day later, I'd, I'd blown it all. And that that was like I think, heartbreaking. I, was, I think that's I was, the problem, Michael. When you have success <laughs> early, it's, it's a problem because then you think, oh, this is easy. And I just press the button and, and you know, the till opens and I yeah, just yeah. take the money. Yeah, and then when so, you hit something that goes against you, it's very difficult. So, so if nothing had changed, um, like if you hadn't have found Pal, where yeah. where do you think you currently be? Um, where do you think you'd be at with your trading? Or would you be yeah, trading? Yeah, good question. Probably in the same position with inconsistency. Um, yeah. Doing something, not getting a result looking for something else it's that same old circle isn't it uh, yeah, and what, looking for the next what, best thing exactly precisely and yeah. you have to stick at things uh and if you stick at things you start it takes a while before the, the the stuff falls away from your eyes and you can see start to see your way through things which is the process i've been in in the last few months with this yeah. um and not worrying too much about the drawdown when you look at the drawdown on a line and it says, oh, there it goes. It pops down by that much. And my maximum drawdown is going to be 1,000. It's like, oh, okay, jolly good. Yeah. Um, but when it happens, it's a completely different thing. Yeah, yeah. When it happens, it's it's like, if you're not used I'm, to it. I'm, like, in, I'm in that at the moment, actually. Yeah. Uh, I've just started the challenge and uh, I've done all my sets and things like that. And now it's in, in a bit, quite a lot of drawdown. Yeah, I'm not too worried about that, to be honest now. And you know, that's kind of my age, I think. Having been well, through, it. I, I think it show, I think it shows how far you've come. To be honest, um, I don't think it's an age thing at all. I think it's one. I think it's part of the process that you have to go through as a trader. But I right. think it also shows how far you've come. Like personally, um, you know, try. I'm trying to relate to you as well. Like at the start of my journey, it was like if I saw a drawdown, I'd be panicking. I'd be distraught. <laughs> you know, checking MT5 every second, and now it's like. I don't even care about it. It's just another thing that, you, you know, is kind of happening yeah. in the background. Um, so I think that shows how far you've come, to be honest. But since you've been in power, have you been mainly focusing on the bank at EA or have you used Edge? And is there any other tools that you've been using? Um, I had a look at Edge. Um, I didn't really suit me, Edge. Um, I, I liked uh, Banker EA and then Red Alert as well. So I, I have Banker EA and I have Red Alert. And yes. I think I made quite a smart move to buy the lifetime access to Banker yeah. Yeah. when it was available. <laughs> because looking at it, you think, okay, it's £700 a year or whatever, and I've got lifetime for whatever yeah. it was, 999 or something. Yeah. And I think Darren looked at it and said, yeah, we're giving it away. Yeah, well. you, you done, you've done very well. You've done very well. Um, yeah, so, and then Red Alert as well. So I paid for Red Alert. Um, okay. And I've, I've had a look at Red Alert. I haven't really got my head around it too well. I've tried a few tests. I've tried to run it on on days with the news, and it, yeah. that's me getting my head around how it works. There's a couple of guys on there that do really well. Yeah. Um, the business guy ninety nines on there, and he looks at uh, things like the unemployment claims, and he seems to have worked that one out. Yeah, doing really well with it. Yeah, um, so and I think that's encouraging to see other people that are having success with it. Yeah, uh, there's a, there's the main like three or four guys that are doing really well in the red alert group, right? And they kind yeah. of get the results all the time. But I think there are 
there's also people doing well in the backgrounds because I spoke to them in the DMs, but they're, they're, not, they're not really showing their progress and their results. But I think that's yeah. where people could learn from. Like, it doesn't matter if you're, even if you're not getting good results, just posting them into the group is going to give you, people always give you feedback. There's always like helpful people in the group ready to help. For um, sure. Yeah. Ready to give yeah. you positive feedback. There's never any negativity. But, Going back to um, the tools that you've used so far, yep. what did you pass your challenge with? Uh, that was with the Banker EA. The Banker EA, amazing. Um, yeah. um, what and did it's, you it's, pass? I, I, I tried, well, I tried the, the Dar Darren's approach when we when he first started talking about, which made a lot of sense to me, having um, with the trend, against the trend, and then the ranging, because you're kind of covering all the markets. I went, I didn't then partition it down to short and long. Um, and I had a couple of non-correlated pairs with that. So I had gold, I had, um, I think I had Euro, New Zealand dollar, and I had a couple of others, pound, US dollar. And, and I had that as a group um, and put those in with the three. And it kind of went up and down, had a sudden bit of drawdown, and then it was building nicely. And, you know, the usual stuff, you know, you see the drawdown, but you don't expect it. And you get close, and then I thought, if I'd have closed it out there at 208,900, <laughs> you know the story. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. And awesome. I didn't, and it went down to 2,400. You're like, why? Why did, why did I close Yeah, close? exactly. Because that's not the way you do it. Yeah. And it's that sticking to the plan. Uh, and, and that's the good thing. And did you pass, um, how big was the account? 200,000 with 200, TFT. £200,000 account. Great stuff. And w with what prop firm? Uh, with TFT. Great stuff. Yeah, w brilliant. Yeah. So I bought another one of them. Now they, now there's unlimited. I, I was on a limited time scale with it. So yeah. I had uh, two months um, to the end of August. And then Darren came on. I saw his Instagram. And he said, well, of course, guys, you know, just remember August is there's not much going on. They were <laughs> off on holiday. And there yeah. I was trying to catch the last 5,000 on that. Oh, come on. That's bad timing, Stuart. Um, yeah. But all things to all. And then suddenly it just shot through and and, and that was fine. So I closed out every, all the positions. And Great stuff. Yeah. Great yeah. Uh, so how long has it taken you to get funded? To get funded from when? Well, it's about two and a half to three years, I would say. So I tried early wanted, on. This is what I wanted to speak about mainly because I right. think it shows. I think it shows one how difficult it can be, but two how important it is to be persistent, because most people, after you know, three months or even less, if they haven't passed yeah, the yeah. challenge. It's like, this clearly doesn't work, or maybe it's not right for me. Maybe I'm not right for trading, blah, blah, blah. Um, and it's very easy to quit. So to keep going for two, three years and eventually get to your goal, like it must feel amazing, right? Well, it was. I mean, I, I got, I, I've been close. I've got through challenges. I, I did the, there was a, do you remember the power one where you, uh, you yeah, paid, a, it was like a hundred bucks or a hundred, and then if you got through that one, you got to the second stage. I got through the first stage yeah. and then flunked the second one. Yeah. And I've done quite a bit of that, got so far. And in yeah. fact, Darren got the fast pass with this to get the first stage for TFT. And yeah. then I, I did the, the second stage yeah. uh, myself with, with obviously with advice from everybody. Uh, but it, I've not been full time on it for three years. I've kind of come backwards and forwards to it. Um, yeah. I've spent probably the last five or six months much more dedicated to it yeah. uh, and looking at how things work and um so and I, I think I that in that time has, has helped me a lot in the last six months so looking back over the past six months when you've been like really dedicated yeah, um, yeah. what sort of advice would you give what if you could give three pieces of advice to either new members or people that were struggling in a similar position to you before what would they be I would say, first of all, um, just watch the videos. Uh, try and increase your learning. There's things that you don't pick up first, second, third, even fourth time of looking at the videos, reading the chats. I've spent a lot of time on this call and looking at the different um, sections on discussion. Um, people give a lot of good advice to that. 
Yeah. So that would be my first bit of advice is try and learn your trade a little bit to start with. Um, then you can ask sensible questions when you go to the Q&As and you can see what the point of the Q&A is about and wh which direction you're going in. Mm -hmm. And then the tools, again, learning those, they, they, they're very good. In, the, in What's happened in the last three months, I suppose, with the portfolio analysis and it is stunning, really, in, in terms of that. Yeah, it, it's nice to see it. Mine hasn't yet translated into, it's, I've only been going with it for two or three weeks. Um, so I would say, suggest to people that you need to stick with it for a long period of time. Yeah. When you play out uh, something like a, a, a test and it shows you over eight, maybe six or eight months, run it for six or eight months. Don't don't look at two or three months in isolation because it may yeah. not, It may you may start at the worst possible time. Yeah, exactly. um, you don't know that. Um, you got to give it a chance, right? You got to let let exactly. Play out. The thing yeah. is, is like that. I think the the amount of progress that's been made in the past three months inside power oh, um, is absolutely crazy. But um, that's why, like looking back at you know your journey, if it's taken you, you've been in power like nearly three years, right? So yeah. it's kind of, it's kind of skewed because. Power wasn't the same as it is now. Like, whereas if you joined at this point, you're joining at the best possible time to join. Absolutely, yeah. And that journey is going to be a lot quicker to get you from A to B. And well, just look at the Q and A's that Darren's got with with know. you know going through steps one to seven on on the first two calls, and yeah. then putting that towards the sent files and to you know I'm still trying to get my head around the sent file yeah. type of thing. But yeah, it, it's all good learning, and it's 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 a simple process, really. It's it's been refined, and as you said, it's such a different product now, and such a different group of people. And I can completely see why Darren and Connor want to restructure the whole thing and have people that are going to be positive for everybody else. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, um, what would you say to someone that's currently sitting on the fence? <laughs> Get off the fence, yeah. yeah. You, you either do or you don't. You only need one good reason to do something. You can think of a hundred good re a hundred reasons why you don't do something. Uh, I changed my career a long, long time ago. Now, I was a, a mechanical engineer, and I always wanted to be a pilot from when I was a little boy. And I chucked everything in uh, and and changed to become a pilot. And it's I now do what I I love to do. And the same thing with this is. Everybody has a dream to be able to sit at home and, and trade themselves within a community. Yeah. And you only need one good reason to do that. And you can think of a thousand reasons why you shouldn't be doing that. But follow, mm. the, follow your path with the one good reason. Legend. That is what I want to hear. Great piece of advice. Amazing. <laughs> no, seriously, brilliant. Um, thank you so much for joining um, and for taking the time to do this. I'm sure a lot of people are going to benefit from this uh this interview i'm just gonna i hope so yeah it's it's it as i say you guys have been fantastic with with the whole with the whole process